Hello, my name is Steve Bowler and welcome to Juniper Tunneling Lab Number 2. In this lab we're going to take a closer look at tunneling IPv6 traffic over an existing IP version 4 network, which is commonly known as IPv6 IP. So if this network diagram looks familiar to you, uh, that is because we used it in our Juniper Tunneling Lab Number 1. The only difference is under our loopbacks on R1 and R3, we, are, we have assigned IPv6 addresses. And we're also going to be showing you how to set up an IPv6, IPv4 tunnel. If you haven't, if you did not watch the Juniper Tunneling Lab number one yet, uh, what I'll do is I'll just explain in just very quickly a high level overview of our network that we have running. We have three routers, router 1, 2, and 3, R1, R2, and R3. The network between R1 and R2 is 12, 12, 12, 0, forward slash 24. The network between R2 and R3 is 23, 23, 23, zero slash 24. We are using logical tunnel interfaces to connect the logical systems together. If you're not familiar with that technology, I would suggest that you watch Juniper Logical Systems Labs number one and two. That is on our Juniper series one. And what we are representing is that all logical tunnels equal LT dash one two zero dot xx for instance the link between r2 and r3 we are going to be using on r2 lt dash one two zero dot twenty three i've just shortened it for a network diagram to make it look better and all the ips on r1 are going going to be dot one router two is going to be dot two and router three is going to have all the three ip addresses so the first thing we're going to do is, just like we did in the tunneling lab number one, is we're just going to uh, make sure that we have reachability end to end. But before that, let's take a step back and let's just get this network set up from the beginning, from the ground up. So what we're going to do is do set logical systems. We're going to name it R1. Interfaces LT120. Sorry about that. 120.12. Encapsulation we're going to use is going to be Ethernet. Then we're going to do set logical systems R1 interfaces, same interface, LT120.12. And then we're going to define our peer unit. In this case, it's going to be router 2, which is we're going to identify on router 2's end as 21. Last thing, we're going to give our IP address on R1. Set logical systems R1 interfaces LT120.12. Family INET address.